Do it! Oh, dude, it's perfect! <laughs> What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood subgator here hanging out today doing stuff and things. Very excited. <laughs> Zuljin. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, you man? Said, How's it going? You said world quickly today. You said, what is up the world? Yeah, what is up the world? The wor <laughs> That's my, I'm trying that out to make the intro shorter. Um, are you making your Quetzal drink right now? Is that why your beak is pointed up? Because that's what I'm doing. No, yeah, he's drinking. It's this it's nothing it has nothing to do with anything else that it's just that he's drinking. I'm surprised you didn't paint your Quetzal because I, I'm, maybe because you got some stiff competition? Yeah, I'm very erect about... Wait, crap. I didn't get it to go... Oh, man. I totally didn't get the innuendo. Anyway, we're hanging up today. Dude stuff and things with Zuljin. And oh, man. It's been too long, dude. People have been complaining that we haven't been playing together. People enough. do complain about a lot they of things, do. but this yeah. is a good thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what are we doing today, Tiny? Um, we're gonna make our guys. Oh, they're kissing! Oh, wait. There you go. You have a boy? Uh, yeah. Is that yours, a boy? Uh, uh mine's a girl. Oh, they're kissing. They're so in love. Uh, hard to get. Nope, 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 nope. So today we were talking about it. You were saying we were talking before, and you were like, "What do you want to do?" And I was like, "Let's build a water pen." And you were like, "That's a good idea." Yep. Some sense, something I'm planning to do anyway, and I already got stuff I need to store over there. Yeah, so I got an icky the other day, but I really want to get like some of that stuff. Me and Maz went out, and we got him an angler. I, I got a really good icky. I want a, a megalodon, um, some anglers mm. as well. So you, you got to have access to good dinos, and you got to have somewhere to store them. And where we had our water pen on the last server is going to be a good spot, man, because it's close to like a bunch of people's bases now. Right, it's all, but it's also kind of crowded where we had our water pen last time. I'll show you when we when we go over the layout. Right, right. But um, there's some there's some other good places in the same vicinity, and uh, it should be easy to access. So you want to fly over there now? Right, let's head over there now. But also before we go, let us take a moment to say to all the peeps who are watching this video right now. That's right, you. I'm looking at you. Thank you very you much for hanging anyone. out. What's that? <laughs> I said you didn't see anybody. I know. I'm you looking at him right now. Them. John, Steve, Brenda, Brian, Katie, Linda. Sarah. They're all Got watching. Linda. You forgot Linda. Linda's here. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for all your likes and support on the videos. Very much appreciated. Smash the thumbs up button if you're watching. Don't forget to subscribe as well. We're in formations. You could give us some dap on the like button too. That's that's how we do it where I'm from. In case yeah, dippity dap left. that like button. Smash is smash. Oh, hold on, the dippity, dippity, the dippity thing uh, is. They dap yeah, it on the like, like button. What, <laughs> a hip, a hop, a hip, a did a hip, hip hop, and hip, you dump, don't dump. stop to rock into the bot stop boogie. You got to put a dippity dapping on but... on the like button to the beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we we could probably do a remix to that. A very good one, dude. Let's stop the video right now and do the remix. All right. All right. So here's the water pin <laughs> area. Oh, it's all destroyed. Uh huh. Well, not destroyed. Yep. It's been upgraded. Okay, let me show you in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather where the my current storage for my my water parking lot is. Okay. Are you faster than me? Oh man, you are. Uh oh yeah. This is a this is a super high level deluxe model Quetzal. Oh, that's what like I just got super Quetzal too. But like mine guy's new. Oh, you need to just bring them to the North Island for a little while. Mm -hmm. Level them up. I got a super duper uh, egg ready to go too. Well, I heard yesterday. you and Drax got a 120. Mm hmm. XB helped. We got one. We perfect tamed it with kibble, and I had a baby with it with Emrakul. Nice. But dude. I didn't. I didn't raise the baby yet. Nice, nice, nice. All right. All right. Rad. So okay. here is my parking lot area. I see what you're saying. So, so you got your parking lot area right here. This is this is probably a little bit outside of the realm where the piranha spawn. Mm -hmm. The like pretty much over here when you start getting too close to these trees over here, there's piranha around. Not that my fish can't, you know, defend can't themselves, it. but because uh, it's some very high level plessies and stuff. But there are some opportunities we can go. I was thinking if I had to build a road, 
from my place is what I originally is what I ultimately want to do. My place is just over there on that flat that you can see to the left. Mm -hmm. I would probably want to come out around where this cove is at. Right like on. right right on this side of it. Um, and if I go down here and access the um, just jump in the water here. I don't know why I have my map out. It's a steep, steep, steep drop off. Uh huh. Which is a problem. Yep. Yep, it would be. We'd have to find a spot that's a little shallower for sure. Right, right. Yep. So but, I'm thinking um, we'd have to just do a little bit of scouting, see where the best spot would be. Right. Um, we have a couple plessies if you want to grab those, or there's some anglerfish that's parked right there. We could do a little bit of scouting on. However you like, man. All right, let's take a look around for a good spot for a pen and then BRBs. All right. And we're back. We're going to build stuff. I saw you. And, and your rain. face was so. <laughs> and then I was all like, what? What are you doing? And now I'm freestyling. I'm freestyling. I'm just talking about whatever is happening right now. I'm freestyling. I was singing a real song. Zulgin's here. That's right. Uh-uh. Wait, I'm freestyling, man. All right. Did you hear um, how good it was? They said freestyle about the Plessy. Yo, there's a Plessy a hard... right there. There's a Plessy right there. Don't even get near it. There's a Plessy right there. <laughs> See? He used the same lyrics three times. That's not freestyle. That's how they do it on the rappers. They're like, yo, uh, uh yo. Yeah, See, they, they say do yo two times. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, hold up. Listen. Listen. Yo. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm like, I'm listening. Eminem, I'm right Quit here. Quit teasing me. Just say something. Start telling me about your thing. Whatever it is. All right, so we're back, and we've been, we've been talking. We're thinking straight across from here is where we're going to start. Yeah. So I'm thinking what we'll do is like one of these like this. Check this out. Ready? Mm-hmm. Nailed it. I think every time. We did the Remember first Corrales. thing. You remember how Corrales, every time he placed the first block on his creative videos, he did that? He's like, yeah. That's, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> so then, like one of these. And then this will be like our wall across, right? So then we can go like this, like this. And then, like so. And like so. Uh, there, like that. And then we'll have to All build. Right. Well, we'll actually have to build um, pillars like every single. Every single one. You know what I'm talking about? Like we can't go every other one. We got to go every single one. We can't go every other one. No, because uh, we need oh, it to block. Oh, because the... it's going to need it to block. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so I have. I can be on ceiling duty a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, and so we can just kind of go out like into that early direction. And I think that this. It, I hopefully this will go straight across. And then what, the thing is, though, is that eventually we're gonna have to drop down a little bit because we were talking about it and the behemoth gate. Obstructed, huh? The behemoth gate's gonna have to go kind of like under the water a little bit. Mm hmm. And so eventually, here, we're gonna have to kind of drop down. Uh, now, if we build un the behemoth gate under the water, we're also gonna have to build underneath it and we're gonna have to build on top of it. Well, well, we can have it be like basically at the same height as the, as the wall or maybe even a little bit higher. Um, so yeah. what, what we have to do is kind of, um, like, once we come out a little bit, we'll have to, like, go down and start to build, like, a second ceiling that's underwater. Yes. That, that we can place it on. But I don't think we... Do you want the Behemoth Gate completely submerged? I mean, it's up to you. Oh, if I'm, we need to, if we need to, we can. I'm, I'm down. If it's, if it's sticking out of the water, then that won't be a problem. I think it'll, like, probably... Yeah, we can have it stick out of the water a little bit. Right on. But it's going to be a little bit tricky. For sure. But that's what we do best. Right. You need some pillars, man? They all own the Plessy over Oh, here. you got some? Uh-huh. So good. I loaded it. Is up. All right. Oh, you... Oh, man. Now we're getting... <laughs> this is getting serious. I didn't know it was loaded. Lo I'm so... I'm so clamped. It's so serious. <laughs> all right. We're loaded is up. This is the Ichthy that breached the surface and spontaneously died. He... He, um... Is there a spontaneous, like, death? I know spontaneous combustion. What's spontaneous death called? I think everybody dies spontaneously, don't they? Like, I don't alive, think there's any alive. preparation. Unless a doctor tells you, like, you have 
three months to live and like 93 days later you just like but I'm saying everybody's alive and then spontaneously they're dead like <laughs> the instant that you die I feel like I have the easy part of the job here um well no it's not as easy as you would think is it because um, to place ceilings because you have to make sure that everything's safe in the area there's no like bad hombres around I haven't been doing any of that oh you need to get on it man <laughs> you're really bad at ceilings trouble trouble is like amazingly strong I don't think we're gonna have any issue with that she's also amazingly in the way right now oh move, good girl. job trouble move girl so hopefully we don't run into any of the issues that we and Drax had building the bridge, but I think that this is this is not going to be oh, too deep true. for us to do they all that. Had a height, they all had a height deal, huh? Yeah, you can only build a like 25,000 units. Um, you got yourself... Have you seen any fireworks flare gun skins around? There's a few. How about yeah. Megalodon teeth? You need any of those? No, I'm good on <laughs> Megalodon teeth. So... All right, but this is the thing. We're going to have to go out now. Like I was saying, eventually we'll have to basically, like, I'll, I'll show you. Like, we'll build a ceiling, like, down here. And then we'll build that out for a ways. Right, and then that's right. what we'll place the behemoth gate on. Like an, okay. an underwater floor type deal. Sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and demolish this guy. Uh, uh. You need me to grab some pillars too, man? I think we got a good amount in there. We may the need ceiling. a lot more. <laughs> the ceiling that we got we got the, the the best trees in the game to get um to get wood from over here oh yeah it's secret wood trick that's mm -hmm. not really a secret yeah it's not a secret anymore it's just good all really right good tactic i'm getting the pillar placing issue it might be that your plezzy's in the way a little bit probably the back trouble, trouble off ah. <laughs> yeah that wasn't it even a little bit all right let me see if i that's can not the, the joys of underwater pillar placement. I love underwater pillar placement. Oh, nailed it! Got it. I got one. Oh, oh. Beautiful. All right, I don't want to make the peeps sit through any more of this. Let's go ahead and <laughs> build out a little bit more. Uh, maybe once we kind of get the uh, where the floor is going to be and all that, underwater we will come back. All right, sounds good, man. All right, you guys, welcome back. We're about to place the gate. Tiny has bestowed on me the responsibility. You I'm not happy about this, Tiny. You better place the gate right, or we're all going to have to place another one. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. Um, it looks a little bit too wide. It does? Uh-huh. You mean the gate's too wide? The gate is... No, the, the platform is wider than the gate. The pillars... Well, no, the pillars will get on the outside. I see. All yeah, right. it should I fit right here. in there nice and snug. I think. We've never, this is the first time I've ever placed a behemoth gate here. Okay, so... The pillars... It's is really, it? really hard. There's a little space on the right and a little space on the left. I think that's going to be good. All right, now let's make sure it's straight, straight. All right. And that looks pretty straight. All right. I'm placing it. Do it. Oh, dude, it's perfect. <laughs> look at the man. Cool. How does it look from the top? Okay, top is good. Oh, you yeah. Got the door for this beast? Yeah, we got a door for it. Oh, that was good, man. It went in exactly where we needed to go. That was good. All right. We made the Very little thing. Very good. I am happy. That's so good. All right. So on Ultimate Destroyer, I think I have the other, the door. Oh, I'm in my flippers. <laughs> You can go slow. Dude, when you're crafting and you overburden in your flippers on land. Oh my god. It's like <laughs> GG Zark. Thing in the world. Alright, so we got the door. I'm gonna bring it out. And get it squirted in here. I like how this one, the door's kind of almost all submerged. Right. I think that's cool. I like how that works. This is like kinda that. how it was at your old base, right? It was a little I don't know, I can't remember now. No, I think it was like this, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it was very, very close to this. So, you just know how to do this. That's all there is to it. Now we can do another one. Oh, crap. Welcome to the joys of underwater pillar placement. We can start getting these do? guys down. Oh, yeah, like the secondaries? Yeah. 
Alright, Trouble should have a few more. Do you think we're gonna need more pillars? Do I need to go back on pillar duty? We probably are gonna need a, a bunch more. Why don't we just place the what we have and then we can both go out and do that, man. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> Other thing I was gonna tell everybody about is the pillar placing trick. The underwater pillar placing trick. If no one knew. So if you're placing, placing pillars every single ceiling, so like every single block, like you're placing one here, one here, and one here, um, place them every other one. So go out two, and then place all your pillars down the line. See how these are not giving you me any of the weird problems that pillars often give us? You know what? We're going to have to destroy this one. But um, a lot of times when you're placing pillars underwater, they're all weird. They won't place right. And when you place them like this, you can place all the way down to the ground. And you can see I didn't have one that didn't place correctly. Now... Oh, in, you're talking about lining up at the top? Yeah. Well... Well, now, like right here. So, see, are you over with me? Where you at? Uh huh. I don't see his little. I'm here. I'm above your face. Oh, okay. So, now with this middle one, there's going to be like, I'm going to have problems placing these pillars. You'll see. If you try to place some all the way down, you'll have like, they'll kind of glitch and they'll be tough to place. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. And it's because they're, it's like in betwixt two sets of pillars or something like that is what does that. Um, hmm. So if you go out every other one, you shouldn't have that problem. I know anytime I've built underwater, oh, we got a lot of pillars. Oh yeah, I had made a, I had made a bunch. I have some, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down. I'm gonna try to see what you're talking about. Yeah, come down and try to place the, or just try to place pillars straight down from that one in the middle there. All right. Now, of course you won't have any problem at all this time. Oh, I'm out of ceilings now. Oh, I done so, messed up. Oh, like you'll see, it'll like be really difficult to place. Like it doesn't want to oh, place there. Oh yeah, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it's weird, it, but I do get it a little bit. Like but... it's glitchy. Like it kind of wants the place, and then yeah, it doesn't. Now it doesn't. It'll... Yeah. Yeah. What's then it'll be green. Head? Yeah, it has to do with the something to do with that. It's in between the two pillars. Now, if we if you do it right next to it like this, you still get the problem. Like you have to in order to get like basically one set of pillars that places with no problems you got to go out two and go down you can see these place perfect every time no glitch right and then there's no way that i can tell to fix the middle one like the middle one's just going to give you problems you just got to dick around with it you just got to like play with it and just try to get them in um i don't know any special way to place them there might be a way but i don't know it so, hmm. you just got to kind of place it over and over, and then eventually they'll place. Like, you can get it to work, but there's definitely right. some That's, sort of glitch. I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing that right now. Yeah, it seems like some spaces are worse than others, too. Yeah, it's really odd. It has a lot to do with your body's position in the water. Like, you got to kind of move around it. Right. And then, I don't like it. No, I don't like it either. It's a pain in the butt. But eventually, you can get it to work. Yeah, I just got one. Huh. So, well. that's the little trick. A little slip tip. Sucks, sucks to be pillars. Sucks to be you metal pillars. Now, I think after this, man, this is kind of going to be it. We just got to build it over to the edge. And yeah. then place all the pit pillars. Pit I can't even say words okay, right now. Pit. Place all the pillars. Then I just got to go, like, go get my ichthy and bring over my ichthy to a new safe spot. We, it's too bad we can't, like, carry them with a Quetzal. Or teleport them with our brain power. Uh-huh. Did you know they're adding the brain power, Engram? Uh, I thought that was part of the RP cooking recipe thing. Yeah, You brain have to power. paint the brood mother first. You have to mate the brood mother with a trilobite. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be gross. Yeah, it's not very, it's not very pretty. <laughs> but once you do that, then you can get the brain power engram, and that allows you to teleport ichthys with your brain power. Nice. It's uh, pretty amazing stuff. Or could possibly completely be a lie. <laughs> possibly. All right. All right, man. Um, let's place the rest of these things and then BRBs. All right, man. All right, man. And the deforestation continues. <laughs> These pillars. I, I wish you would have never taught me about them. 
about how good that is to place those underwater a million times and have them break I over and over? I hate them so bad, dude. <laughs> it's super frustrating. I hate them so bad. Imagine doing it with no scuba gear. That makes it oh, even yeah, more fun. The, yeah, the only thing that can make this more fun is cooking last chowder in between and going up for air. Oh, no last chowder either. I didn't do it with no... I did it with, on the last base. No last chowder. Underwater. Oh, no, that's, that's just... Uh, that's just that's just not cool, Tony. I don't yeah. know why you did it like that. Well, we had high we had high oxygen back on that server, though. Remember, because we had pumped it a lot, so I think I was oh, rocking like yeah. 300 O2. That was back when we were leveling oxygen. Yeah, no, yeah, isn't that's it cool what the to be pioneers? An, did it's cool to be an arc old fogey. Remember back <laughs> in the day when it took 12 hours to tame a brontosaurus? Remember when nobody would eat medjo berries because the description said they didn't taste good? <laughs> <laughs> so. We've been, oh, uh, Z's been in there placing pillars. We took a little swisher rooney. I've been out here, uh, getting pillars. We've got, I bet you we've got 400, 500 pillars into that right now. Yeah, I bet you we've got close like, to 500. I feel like your, your freestyle should, should, should be about making pillars. Making pillars. Oh, making pillars. <laughs> Just freestyling about making pillars. Oh, getting wood. Mm, in the hood. Oh, that's right. Oh, listen. Make a pillar. <laughs> Like a villain, I'm gonna. I'm just chilling, like a pillar person. Oh crap! Like a pillar person. I'm not very good at rapping. Oh my god! Not everybody. It worked. It worked good though. I, I'm trying, man. I'm, I'm trying to get better, but you know, sometimes maybe Brian just, uh, can teach you about rapping one day. I oh, heard I Brian bet he's used really to be, good. I heard Brian was part of Motown back in the day. He was part of something. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, Brian, I, th I don't know. I th I think probably is, you know, Brian's got a kid now. Um, well, that, that, Kevin. You, think, you think a cool dad? Kevin would think his dad's cool if he'd rap. Well, I think Kevin might be into the rap. Uh... He, he might be into the rap scene. Is there any, are there any famous dinosaur rappers? Like dinosaur based? I don't think so. Um, I I would I would probably say no, not that I know of, but I'm sure we can find one. Like I know the hip hopopotamus. Hip hopopotamus is is a stone cold killer. And the rhinoceros. The rhinoceros. <laughs> That's great. Do you ever watch Flight of the Concord? Rhyme... No, I didn't know I didn't know nothing about no rhinoceros. You don't know That's about the, the most amazing name. The hip hopopotamus and the rhinoceros? Oh my. Oh no. I gotta be honest with you, I didn't know about it either, and one of my Patreons the other day just told me about these... I know Flight of the Concords, they're, they're a comedy band, um, and I know them, and I really, really like them, and um, I listen to, like, they have a song called uh, Bowie to Bowie, which is like David Bowie talking to David Bowie, it's hilarious, but um, All right. they do this comedy thing, the Hip Hopopotamus and the Rhinoceros, and dude, when we're done recording this segment, we're gonna go watch it because <laughs> go it is it. hilarious. <laughs> that's amazing, man. And that's where I was actually ripping off from them the the freestyling thing. One of the guys does a freestyle part, and that's kind of he's about that good at it. He's about as good as I am. <laughs> that's cool, man. But what would be a dinosaur? Is there a di oh? Is your are you on your mammoth? Yeah. Okay, just checking, just making sure he wasn't yeah. running away. No, we have, uh, D uh, I mean, you can do DJ Dinosaur, DJ Dino. Um, hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, we got to figure it out. We'll have to think about it, maybe. Yeah. We'll think about a good dinosaur rapper name, and then we'll come back. <laughs> right. All right, BRB. Dino, we have one more pillar. The final one. pillar. Final it's the one. final pillar. Did I got you do it, it on the first try. You got it! <laughs> I got it on the first try. Oh, man, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, look at it in all its magnificence. It is pretty impressive. If you come down to the edge and then you, like, swim along it, like, it is quite a thing to behold. Now, one of the things we didn't really talk about, which we should probably mention, um, is that we did decide to build it out of wood, and we are completely and perfectly aware that this is a building material that can be destroyed by dinos. Right. Um, but... I assure you that this is a very... I've seen one shark and one koi since we've been out here for the three hours we've been recording. Pay no attention to the shark. There is nothing, nothing, nothing here to worry yeah. about. 
There doesn't seem to be, and if there is, we can we can make sure obviously that there's at least one dino on here out here in neutral. And um, if it becomes a huge issue, we can always just come back through and, and yeah, replace we stuff can come through stone. with stone, right? Yeah, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Like, no. not to mention the amount of wood that we would have to use to repair. Like you know, you know what I mean. My my mammoth can give us enough pillars to, to enough materials to repair these for for decades. Yeah, it's it's not even a thing. So it would have took us twenty times longer with stone. Yep, it still was so. quite a project. It still was. A oh lot. yeah, <laughs> that's like probably seven hundred oh, yeah. plus pillars, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but we got it done, and it's nice to have a safe place to bring your dinos. You know what I mean? It really is nice to be able to do that, which, and it's really close to a lot of people's bases too, which is kind of cool. Yes. Uh, Blitz lives down the road. I live right there. XP lives right there. I think yeah. it's a good deal, man. I say we get our guys moved in. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. I'm going to go. You need, I have... you need, you need help with it, bringing any of yours? No, I have, I have one. You only have one. I have, a, I have at Ichthy. Oh, all right. Yeah, just the right. at Ichthy. Well, did did anybody lay claim to the the Mosasaur? Uh, Sally. Yeah, I don't think so. Sally, the Mosasaur is still over there. Uh, I want a bigger Mosasaur, but I guess she's okay over there too. We can uh, just we have her. Two, yeah, we have two. Um, what are the name of these dinosaurs again? <laughs> yeah, we, we have, have two, two of those over here. here. I was like, "What the hell? Why? Why do I want to call it a troublemaker?" You, oh, you gotta um, fly over, man. This thing looks impressive. All right, let me get on my. Uh, I gotta pick up a uh, little elephant too. Let me take off these stupid shoes. Take get off, off your me, shoes. Stupid shoes. Web sandals. Now I can move like the wind. But it looks good from up here, man. It's it's impressively large. That's what she said. That. Uh, um, you yeah, always do it, and I had to do one. Yeah, it's 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 big. Yeah, and the it the gate's very, placed very to the center of the bay, so it does look like a little off center, but that's just like artistic. Well, it's the, at the center of the yeah, like what what's considered the 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 deepest point. Like yeah, it's it's just much more elongated on the left side, which is fine because it's uh yeah. It's, it's good. good. There's a lot of room what, there. What are we going to call this place? We can call it the Crescent Cove because it kind of looks like a crescent. We could call uh, it Crescent Cove. I like that. Or, crescent Cove. Or, yeah. Or short, we can just call it the croissant. The croissant? <laughs> the, cra the croissant. Croissant. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Do you want to say that for the rest of your life in videos? So we got to go down to the croissant and get our uh, dinos. <laughs> if you want to, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> we can we, do that. We can, we can, we can go with Crescent Cove. I think that would be a little bit more eloquent. All right, man. Flows off the the tongue and the palate easier. The Crescent Cove and uh, the Crescent Cove, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fly back to my base, drop off William Shatner, and grab my Ichthy, and then come back, man. All right, I'm gonna get the other Plessy and bring it back. All right, beer bees, and we're back with All naked right. Zuljan. I am not naked. I was trying to take your shirt off. No, they're I'm just Captain tanning Kirk. in the moon rays. Moon tan. Moon tan. That sounds yeah. like a some sort of Indian name. It's a it's a name of a gangster rap group that paired up with uh, hip hip hop apotamus and um and uh, the rhinoceros. Just help me. Yes, the rhinoceros and the, the velociraptor. The velociraptor and the <laughs> and the T Rectosaurus <laughs> and the Crunkceratops. Crunkceratops. <laughs> I'm the hippopotamus. Hip -hop my rhymes are preposterous. I love those guys. They're so fun. Anyway, so we, we got it done. It's unbelievable. And I actually didn't realize, I was just saying to Z, these anglerfish lights are really, really bright. And I don't know why. I just never noticed how bright they are. It's crazy. They're quite beautiful, aren't they not? It, they are just like a, like, like little lights. You need, to, you need to put some angler gel in a standing torch, man. Yeah, you were saying. I got to check out your last video, yeah. right? You showed that off? Yeah, Dude, your abs like, look killer in anglerfish uh -huh. light. I've been doing them crunches, man. Been doing those crunches. That's co mm -hmm. so cool. But you know what? I wish that you could pick them up out of the water and then like drop them in your base for like free light. Aquariums, <laughs> yeah. Need little yeah. aquariums, man. Right. Uh, oh, man. I would think though, if they if 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 you can farm enough of them, like four or five hundred angler gel would probably work on your torch for a few months. 
That would be a lot of angler gel. Uh-huh. <laughs> it would be a lot. But it would be crazy. We need to try it. But we got a pen, man. It's amazing. We do. I am very, very satisfied with the pen. I, uh, I'm i going to use the heck out of it, too. Now we can put a Mosasaurus in this, baby. Oh, yeah. There's nothing you can't fit. It's got a lot of space. Yeah, it's got a ton Ooh! of space. Oh, my God. Your trouble guy just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, He's man. Look, just because she smiles big, okay? I know it's a little creepy, but you get used to it. I jump in and she, like, look right at me like, <laughs> like she's going to eat me. Hi. Oh, man. Well, all right. Really we got a kitchen. spot. Safe spot. And we did it yeah. together. Thanks for hanging out today, Tiny. Yeah, man. Thanks for hanging out as well. And all of the peeps. Yeah. Thanks if for hanging out, If you guys did peeps. like the video, give us some dap on that like button. Dippity dapping on the... Show support for this, sir. Not dippity, just dap. D do the dippity Dip dapping. You, you're totally taking the cool out of the coolness that I'm I I'm the hip-hop... Never mind. Hip <laughs> All right. If you guys like the video, don't forget to smash the like button. And, and put some dap on it, too. Yeah. Yeah. And you can subscribe to Tiny's channel for more stuff and things. And me for just stuff. Because yeah. stuff and things is his thing. He just has the stuff. But he's got pretty good stuff. Yeah, Check it my out, thing's peeps. okay too. Don't yeah. talk about my thing. And may the stuff and things be with you.